Live now to our reporter Kirsty Malcolm. Uh, Kirsty, what more can you tell us? Well, Rachel, earlier today, human rights lawyers working for the charity Reprieve got in to see 69-year-old Mohammed Asghar in his jail cell. The former shopkeeper has been in prison in Royal Pindi since 2010, when he was sentenced to death for claiming to be the Prophet Mohammed. This afternoon, more than 100 residents came out to help the police with their search, and Kirsty Malcolm joined them. These are just some of the hundreds of volunteers out searching for Mikhail Kular. They're following police's orders and looking anywhere a three-year-old might be parks, bushes or open spaces. As you can see behind me, the number of floral tributes has continued to grow. Evidence that this community is still very much coming to terms with what happened here. Now officers will be here between 9 and 11 o'clock tonight, hoping to piece together those missing hours between the last known sighting of the 43-year-old on Friday and the discovery of his body in the hospital car park on Sunday. This drift car can go up to 170 miles per hour and has 450 horsepower. That's as much power as a Ferrari. Well, I'm here at Edinburgh Airport where there's an extremely festive atmosphere as just moments ago, Team GB's Winter Olympic medalists were welcomed back onto home soil. It was a very emotional reunion for the athletes seeing friends and family perhaps for the first time in at least three weeks. Now I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by skippers Eve Muirhead and Dave Murdoch who are here. Congratulations first of all, show us those medals. <laughs> well Kirsty Malcolm is in Bristol Square. Kirsty, a big weekend ahead. Well Laura, I'm here at the heart of the festival and yes this is going to be a huge weekend for the Fringe and venues are going to be doing everything they can to pull in the crowds. It's one of the most breathtaking events in the Edinburgh calendar and last night it ensured the festival kicked off in style. This is the 65th Edinburgh Royal Military Tattoo and over the years around 13 million people have flocked to the city to see this spectacular display. It's described as the greatest show on earth and it's easy to see why. Kirsty Markham, STV News, Edinburgh.